episode 3,578, listen to your dreams. Moms, it's time to rediscover, rejuvenate, and renew who you are in mind, body, and spirit. Welcome to Create Your Now, Your Best Selfie, the show to help you do just that. Here's your host, certified life coach, personal trainer, and nutritionist, Christiane Wargo. Happy, happy day and happy Veterans Day. Oh, yes. Thank you so much to all of you who have served your country, to those who have gone before us, to those who are serving right now, and to those who are retired. We lift you up today. We are praying for you. And to the families of veterans, we love you too. We do not take you for granted. It is an extraordinary week because it's the beginning of a brand new week with brand new mercies every single morning. And so today, it's all about how you lead your life forward. Listen to your dreams. For those of you who are brand new to Creature Now, welcome to this incredible family. I'm so delighted of your presence. If you already even had the opportunity, you want to head on over to CreatureNow.com where you can learn more and sign up for the Kisses newsletter, the Keep It Simple Strategy, Everyday Solutions to Live, Love, and Impact. Well, this episode is brought to you by AIM, inspiring connection and community. All right, take a deep breath because it is Veterans Day and it has been a whirlwind of a weekend. I was traveling. I enjoyed my time with my mastermind. I came back, got some great college football in, got some great NFL ball in. Did you see the Chiefs game? Okay, more to come on that. But I want to talk about your dreams for just a minute. My dad, he served both Navy and Army. And he did two tours in Vietnam, and then he also did a tour in the Gulf War with the Army. He was an Army chaplain, retired as an Army chaplain. And in between all of that, he was a civilian pastor. And so I've moved my entire life, and I like to say that I'm a firecracker waiting to go off all the time. And let me tell you right now, my heart is with those who serve. I guarantee that is where you have me always. And I think for the most part, our world around us, we respect those who serve because it is a sacrifice. And along those lines, my dad was always one who taught me to live your dreams and listen to your dreams. It wasn't all about just conjuring something up in your mind thinking, oh, you could just go do anything. He encouraged me, if you want to go in the Olympics, do it. We didn't know what that looked like. We took steps. We got closer and closer. And then I had hiccups called injuries. And it just never happened. It wasn't my time. And that's okay. But I still was one who was encouraged to live my dreams and to listen to my dreams. And I think what happens in our life is that we get so bombarded with what everybody else is telling us. And we forget to listen to our own dreams. How many times do we think about our dreams, but rarely invite our own senses into the field of our dreams? Be cautious not to take for granted what you think you know and listen to your dreams. Imagine this beautiful field of dreams where things are just beginning to sprout up. The excitement of what's possible just gives you those chills and delight. The potential for growth You know, maybe you're looking at monetary growth. Maybe you're looking at personal growth. That transformation is palpable, filling you with a sense of excitement and possibility. It's like, yes, I get this. Nothing is impossible. However, the journey towards realizing your dreams is not always smooth sailing. My dad being on the ship, yeah, it wasn't always smooth sailing. In fact, I think it's kind of funny because he would get car sick. I'm like, but you were a Navy man, like... What did you do? He goes, well, you know, I just did what I did. And if I had to get sick, I just got sick and I didn't let anybody know about it. Life has a way of throwing obstacles in our path, disrupting our plans and challenging our resolve. And then, of course, the world comes at you like a wrecking ball, slowing down your progress, interrupting your plans, and sometimes halting what should have been. I don't know what it looks like for you, but my injuries said you can't go to the Olympics, you got to stop. Your legs can't handle it more specifically. Your ankles cannot handle it anymore. And I was like bummed. Like uh, that's one of my huge dreams that floated away. And then I went off to school, met the man of my dreams. And I was like, yes, I'm going off to med school. And amidst changing my path of what I wanted to be when I grew up, 
my major, I don't know, I kid you not, probably six or seven times, and that is not an exaggeration. When I met with my administrative counselor at the school, he was like, Christiane, if you change one more time, this is what's going to happen. And I said, no, it's not, because I'm taking extra courses. From my freshman year on, I took over 20 hours every semester. I kid you not. I graduated with enough hours to have a master's degree. Crazy, I know. And by the way, I graduated early. And during this whole time, I even left my college and went back home because my dad was shipped off to war. And I needed to be back with the family. Then I came back and I was like, this is what I want to be when I grow up. I'm going after it. And so I went after my dreams of going to med school. I was down to the last step. All I needed to do was go and have the interview and it was all mine. And then I found out I was pregnant with our first baby. And I thought there's no way that both of us can be in school at the same time. There's just no way. You'll be a second year, I'll be a first year. My parents aren't around. At that time, they were in Belgium. I had some family, but they weren't my immediate family. And my brother and sister, they were doing their own lives. They were younger. I'm like, I can't do this. I don't think I can make it and do it well. Well, looking back, I think I could have. May have taken me an extra semester or two longer, but I know I could have done it. But you see, for my life, the world came at me like a wrecking ball and I had to make changes. How do you escape the world of change so you can embrace the field of your dreams? Where did you have to shift in your dreams? Where did you have to give up? Where did you have to pivot? How do you overcome what should have, would have, or could have been? Where do you draw the line? Or do you? So many questions when it comes to our dreams. And sometimes we think, oh, our dreams are not really made to be achieved. The dreams are out there because they're supposed to be at the star level. We're not supposed to really actually acquire them. It just keeps us going after something that's better than we are. So we keep looking forward and not backwards. Oh, my friend, I'm here to tell you, you need to chase your dreams. In order to do that, you've got to listen to your dreams. That is your kiss to keep it simple strategy. Listen to your dreams. I don't know if you got any football in. You know I did already because I already gave you fair warning. But did you see the Chiefs game? I mean, come on, 16 to 14 over the Denver Broncos. At the last one second, they had to play 60 minutes full out. And it came down to where the Broncos were kicking the 30-some field goal. And guess what happened? Special teams, front line, blocks it. Boom. Game over. Chiefs win by two. And they're now 9-0. and Matching history within the Kansas City Chiefs history line of being 9-0. and Crazy. And on top of that, Travis Kelsey caught, I believe it was number 76 touchdown to tie it with Tony Gonzalez. Incredible. Do you think they were just kind of on the field going, well, we're just going to give it up. They're going to kick this field goal and it's going to be an easy win for them. No. You know why I know that? I couldn't watch the actual game. I had to listen to the game. And I love challenging myself in different ways because when you listen to a football game, it comes in your mind differently. And so I listened to the post-game interviews and the guy who was there, and I am so sorry, I will put it in the show notes of who it was, who actually was on special teams and blocked the field goal. He said, yeah, you know, yeah, we practice this stuff. He goes, but there's something more. He goes, we kind of feel it out. It comes throughout the game. We know how they're doing, where they're going to shift, what happens, and then we know how to respond. Do you think they were listening to their dreams in that moment with one second left? Yeah, and they succeeded. And they won the game. Where are you in listening to your dreams? Are you one who says, oh, I'm all about it? Or are you just all in your mind and you're thinking, yeah, that would be great, maybe one day. And then life happens. You have a baby or two or three or four or five or six or ten. Grandbabies come or they go. 
Maybe you're not even there yet. You're like, Christiane, I'm still stuck in toddler land. Oh, wait, wait, but I'm now in teenage world and oh my goodness, I'm planning a wedding. What is it for you? And now all of a sudden you're like, you're doing everybody else's dreams but your own. You put yours on the back burner. But what if you were to change it around and said, you know what? I'm taking time to listen to my dreams. My dreams aren't just supposed to be out there in the stars. They're made to be achieved. So what does that look like in real life? Number one, cultivate inner resilience. One of the keys to staying grounded amidst life storms is to cultivate your inner resilience, meaning that if you fail, you can rise up, right? It's the cream rising to the top. Building resilience allows you to weather life's ups and downs without losing sight of your dreams. But you've got to be willing to do the work. You've got to be willing to listen to your dreams. You've got to be willing to say, you know what? Yeah, when life has me down, the stars are still shining. I can still listen to my dreams. I can still go for them. Now, sometimes your dreams change a little bit. I'm not going after my Olympic dream anymore. It's fun to think about it, that I had it, that I actually was training for the Olympics. I mean, how cool is that? Not very many people can say that. I'm like, that was the trajectory I was on. And on top of that, by the way, by the way, I was living in Hawaii at the time. Who trains for the Olympics in Hawaii as an ice skater? Well, Christy Ann does. Kind of crazy. If I wasn't playing music, I was ice skating. That was my dream. But too many injuries. So I shifted. What do I focus on next? You see, it's okay where a few of your stars will go out because it's just not meant to be. But guess what? That's not all of your dreams. And that's how you build and cultivate this inner resilience of saying, you know what? Yeah, that changed. Too bad. Not so sad, but just too bad. But now I can take my energy and redirect it somewhere else. Where is your resilience? Where is that inner self within you that says, you know what? I do matter. I've got dreams and I can go after it. And you know what? It doesn't matter about my age. Right now, it's the age of possibility. Nothing is impossible. So go find that resilience. Create it within yourself. Listen to your dreams. Number two, stay committed to your vision. When you're facing adversity, it's easy to waver in our commitment to our dreams. I know, been there, done that. I put so many things on the back burner. That's because I've been taking care of everybody else. We're in the middle of renovations. We're coming to the end though. We're getting close. Even though I look at my house and I'm going, there's no way we're almost there because I am living in piles. I am still recording in my kitchen at the end at the bar as I talk to you right now. But I'm willing to stay committed to my vision. Are you? Even when you face challenges, even when you're in forced renovations, even when life comes at you and you're on this roller coaster of, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing, but I know that I know that I know that I'm supposed to be here. This is crucial to overcoming obstacles and turning your dreams into reality. Oh, and keep it oh so simple. One step at a time leads to miles of greatness. Remember, this isn't a sprint, it's a marathon. So you've got to stay committed to your vision. Create your now came about not because of me, but because of our Heavenly Father. God said, you need to be doing this. And I said, you are hysterical. I know you have a sense of humor, but I do not see me doing this. And I've shared that story. And I included my children on naming the actual business. I said, what do you think? I went through, oh my goodness, probably hundreds of different ways. And I said, I want it to be actionable. I want it to be something that puts a stamp on the heart. We were created, and I'm like, that's it, that's my word, create. Create, you have a choice, my friend, to create, to stay committed to the vision God has given you because he has placed a calling on your life, both in heaven and here on earth. The relationship starts with him. That's your heavenly purpose, but your earthly purpose, are you living it out? Are you willing to dive deeper into it? Are you willing to stay committed to the vision that he's given you? 
You got to listen to your dreams. And finally, number three, embrace your purpose. Your dreams are not merely whimsical desires, but reflections of your deeper purpose and calling in your life. Your purpose matters. You matter. And by embracing your purpose and aligning your actions with your core values, you can experience the field of your dreams. You can do anything you want. And I say that to a lot of people and they're like, Christiane, I cannot. I'm like, no, you can. It may look different now at the age that you are at than it was 20 years, 30 years ago. But guess what? Your purpose matters and you can do anything you want. Now, obviously, there are a few exceptions, right? I mean, me going out for the Olympics right now, that dream, it's a nice, sweet, floating star. The light is dim, but I knew it's still there. And it's one that I remember, not because I failed at it, but knowing that I chased it, knowing that I went for it. But God said, that's not where I want you. I want you over here. I'm like, okay. And then he says, no, 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 no. Things are changing. So now I want you over here. And then Creature Now comes up and I said, oh, Lord, this is not what I had in mind. And he said, but these are the stars for you. And I'm like, but this is too big. He says, no, it's not. Because I'm leading it. You're not. You just get to show up. You get to use your gifts and talents that I gave you. You get to embrace your purpose. Are you ready to embrace your purpose? Because by embracing your purpose and aligning your actions with your core values, you can experience the field of your dreams. You get to be who you are becoming. But you got to listen to your dreams. The Chiefs did not win yesterday. Because they were out there being cocky, going, oh, you know what? No. One second left on the game. That one second was a game changer for everything. Because they were either going to win by two points or lose by one. And one second, it changed for them. And they said, we know what to do. We've practiced this. We know this. We've watched what they do. We've watched how they line up. We've been with them for 59 minutes. We can handle this last one second. Actually, it'd be 59 minutes and 59 seconds, right? Because they only had one second left on the clock. And the game's not over until the play is complete. And so they went all in. They listened to their dreams. Are you willing to listen to yours? Are you willing to open up your heart and mind? Are you willing to say, yes, you know what? Life is going to require me to shift and pivot often. Why? Because change is a constant. But that doesn't mean that your field of dreams die. That doesn't mean that you have to put off everything. It may look differently. You may have to wait for finances to show up differently. You may be able to shift some things around. You may get a little bit more creative to create your now. But nothing is impossible. You can navigate the complexities of life and remain steadfast in the pursuit of your dreams. But you know what you have to do first, right? You have to listen to your dreams. Go in peace. Be present. Be incredible. Be you. I love you so very much. I cannot wait to see you on the other side. Blessings, hugs, and lots and lots of love. We'll talk to you real soon. Have a glorious blessed day. Bye-bye. Feeling inspired, ready to train for life, and love your journey? Visit createyournow.com for more incredible resources to help you along the way. We'll see you next time on Create Your Now, Your Best Selfie. And remember, always be sure you consult your physician before beginning any health and fitness plan.